Hey guys, welcome to the Whimsical Workshop. We have a Common Threads quilting subscription box to unbox, so let's get started. Yay! All right, so if you have not seen um, the Common Thread cross-stitch subscription box I reviewed, uh, at the time, I talked about how we have two boxes. We have the cross stitch and we have the quilting box. Um, the cross stitch box was very kindly donated to me to share with you guys the exciting news that they were doing those, and I was super happy with the box. So I will put a link to that video below so you can check it out. But today, we're gonna unbox their quarter, their monthly quilting subscription box. Now, um, the other one was given to me. This one I purchased, so this is my, my money on the table buying this so let's see what we get in the box so again um, they're a smaller quilt shop they're not a big company like um, the fat quarter shop so they do have a nice box that will protect everything when you ship it but they do just add the sticker and I'm totally okay not having a fancy box to um, see what's inside because you want your money to really go to the tools and the projects that are in the box so all right let's see what we got in this one all right, so, and they do give you a little card, which I do really appreciate, even if it's not a fancy four color offset printed brochure, just give me a card telling me what you've put in the box and why. It really helps the, the subscribers make it feel special and it also explains like your intentions that may or may not be caught by the quilters. I can be pretty dense, so sometimes I do miss that stuff. We'll go over that as soon as we uh, get everything out of the box. So what do we got here? We've got, no slip grip dots, adhesive. Okay, so these are things you can put on rulers, templates, and fabric. Um, they're little silicone dots. I know you can't see them. They're in there, I trust me. Um, that's the cover. So there's a those. Sorry, my phone just went off. Then we've got, oh, how pretty. So we have the pattern. This is Connie Fure. I'm going to say that wrong, from Eye Candy Quilts. Um, it's a nice pattern. It calls, this is, oh, and so what they did is they taped, that's what we got. We got a whole jelly roll of, Chris, of winter sparkle. So who's this from? Oh, Artists and Batiks. Oh, so those are all Batiks. And then what they did is they showed you what it would look like all in, blue, all in blues because the pattern itself looks like this. Um, and you know, kind of kind of like it like upside down but it's my quilt I can do whatever I want so we got that with the color source I think that's awesome so we got that and then we got the jelly roll which I'm going to crack open so we can look at we have a oh I'm totally off camera let's move all this stuff over I'm going to put that like that so you can see it and we got um there so you can see the really pretty blues we have a common thread magnet Oh, and it's winter, so they gave us a York peppermint patty. I love these. And some peppermint candies. Um, and that is everything that's in the box. So there we go. That is what we got. So um, these boxes, uh, they sell them by three boxes. I did not see on their website where you could just buy one. So you, you do three, and then you do three, and you do three. That was the only option I saw was one quarter so you do you buy three boxes at once and they're 99.99 plus shipping that is for three boxes so 34 dollars a box plus shipping so where does this fall in the point um price point from the boxes we have looked at um the sew sampler box uh which i think is from fat quarter shop that one is like a 25 29 dollar box um and you get We've done a couple of those, so you can look at those. Um, and then there were, the majority of them were priced at $50 a box. So this guy coming in around $34 plus shipping, so you're probably looking at like $39, $40 for it when you're all said and done, is right in the middle. So we've got, you know, the inexpensive, the expensive, and I know there are boxes out there that are $80 and $90 a month. I have not dipped my toe in those because I'm really just buying these for you guys. And so I'm not sure I want to invest that much in a box that I'm probably just going to give the stuff to my friends. Yes, it pays to be my friend. Um, but so quarterly, 
$99.99 plus shipping and that includes three boxes, not one. So let's see what she says on her sheet. <clears throat> Thank you for purchasing our January quilting subscription box. We've specially ordered everything in the box for you with winter in mind. So that is the winter theme that we've got going here. Um, the no slip grip dots from Gypsy Quilter are adhesive rings that are perfect for quilting rulers temp and templates and fabric. And I have to say it really does work. Um, you just put them on there if you have trouble with a ruler. I tend to not have that problem with my rulers, but when I'm cutting templates, those may come really in handy because you know, you're usually trying to go around a curve or you're doing a weird angle. So I will definitely use those. Um, the conifer pattern is, um, ah, okay. They picked it because it reminded them of the forest, see the forest and the trees. So they took this pattern and did this to make them look like trees. I got it. Uh, it is jelly roll friendly, so get slicing with some of your favorites or pull out a new roll. No matter what you choose, the conifer will grow on you. One jelly roll will, with background will make a smaller version of the quilt. So that's a good point. What do we need? Okay, so they have two, two sizes. This is 80 by 90. That's huge. Um, I don't know if it's two sizes in the pattern or not. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm confused. All right, so they they don't give you two sizes in the in the pattern, so you kind of have to figure out how many. I mean, it says two jelly rolls. You have one. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight. Eight, and seven is fifteen, thirty. 45, 60, 68 blocks, so you can make 34 blocks. So your quilt is going to be, one, two, three, four, five. it's probably going to be like that. So it'll be half the size. So um, that I find a little confusing. I would rather, if they were going to show you a smaller version, to give me the full directions. But um, it's also, this quilt has no borders. It is just the strip trees in the background. So it's going to be a surprise when you do it. Just know that when you go, you have to buy your background because they give you a full jelly roll. Um, it says five and a quarter yards for background. You really only need, I would do two and three quarters to be on the safe side. So you would just divide these in half and your quilt would be half the size. So instead of 80 by 90, you're looking at, I don't know. I can't do the math in my head. But anyway, so um, that that's the only kind of hiccup I see is that you have to do some work on the pattern. It would have been nicer if the pattern fit the jelly roll. Um, I certainly wouldn't want two jelly rolls, um, and I understand where they're going with it, so I can understand. But it would be very, very pretty. Did they give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? No, they gave they recolored the whole thing is the full size. So you have a couple options. You can do the smaller version. You can go get another Winter Sparkle Artisan Batik Jelly Roll. Um, or you can use the pattern with different fabrics and use this with different fab uh, different pattern. But let's see what the fabrics look like. I just, I'm so excited they're batik. I love batiks. If you haven't noticed, I'm a batik junkie. Okay, so let's see here we go. Um, Winter Sparkle Jelly Roll will make your winter decor glimmer as brightly as the lights on the Christmas tree. Lund Studio done Winter Sparkle Artisan Batiks, a Robert Coffin Batik collection with a stylish spectrum of stars, hints of holly, traditional winter colors, swirling designs to create a magical metallic blend with batiks. Hope you enjoy your January box with wintry feel. Maybe it will warm your spirits by inspiring you to make a beautiful quilt for your home or as a gift. So that's very sweet. I do like that. All right, so here we go. I am not undoing this because, you know, well, let me see. Is there a rubber band around it? How do we have it? Yeah, there is a rubber band around it. So we're just going to get rid of that. <clears throat> so you know what I just did? <clears throat> I threw away the name of it. I may want to know that, so we're gonna leave that there. All right, here we go. I can unfan this, and we can fan through these. So we've got 
move all this out. So yeah, oh, look at that. With this pretty snowflake. With There is metallic on these. So it looks like you get two. Oh, yeah. You see the metallic on there? Doodle says hi. All right, we, we got her settled. So let's go back here. So we've got these really pretty snowflake metallics. Those are very pretty. I love this periwinkle blue. Then we've got branches and berries with, again, that metallic on there. And a dark, oh, these are holly and swirls. More branches and berries. Snowflakes with metallic. Holly and berries with metallic. So these are just in different colors, but they're the same. That one's different. Oh, I love that. I would probably buy that by yardage. Branches. We're just going to flip through these so you can see them. Oh, that one's pretty. The swirl and poinsettias with sparkle. It looks like the sparkle is the same stamp that they stamped on them. You should remember, batiks are all done by hand. So somebody had to hand stamp all this stuff. <laughs> I don't think, because we're so used to quick and easy, I don't think we always think about the artisan work that goes into just one design of this. Then we, So we're going from ice blues, now we're into these deep tealy blues. Oh, those are rich. Yummy. Oh, look at that one. That one. I mean, honestly, when I'm looking at this on camera, it looks navy. It is actually teal. Let me see if I put it up. Yeah, it doesn't really... My camera's not doing it justice. And then we got more swirls, which I love that pattern. And there we go. So that is the jelly roll. So now here's the trick. Can Heidi get it back together so I can put this on my shelf and go, someday I'll do this. I don't know about you guys, but I use these as decor because they're so pretty. All right, let's see. How good is she? No. I bet you these are hand machine rolled. Oh crud. <laughs> so. Alright. I shouldn't have kept going. Alright, so I will fix this lovely strip set that I want to put back in the rubber band. But let's go over real quick what we got here. We got a jelly roll, which is a $50 value. Already the box was only $33.90 or 33 even 40 if you add shipping just the jelly roll alone is a $40 value we have the pattern is a $12 value so you're at $62 and then you got your notion which is $6 so you're at $68 if you were to walk in the quilt shop and buy this and we paid let's say 40 with shipping for it so the value is definitely there in this box um, my only little thing is that I have to figure out to make the smaller pattern it would have been nice just to even just get like hey you're only going to make this many blocks and here's your layout um that would have been fine and, you know i mean so you know they're they're still learning these things and i hope this is good criticism not bad but the value and the theme of the box and getting the candy and the little things were quite nice and i appreciate the description on what comes in the box so with all that let me know below what you think. We will put a link to the Common Thread quarterly or Common Thread monthly subscription box. We have two more of these coming so we can review and I'm super excited because one of them is February, which behind Halloween, Valentine's Day is probably my second favorite holiday just because I like the colors. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see what she does with that. I do love the thought that is put into these. And again, I can't stress enough. I really like the personal touch of small quilt shop subscription boxes. I truly feel like I'm getting a gift from a fellow quilter. Um, I do like the sew sampler and the uh, quilty box and stuff, but you can tell those are coming from a big company. Um, and there's thought put into them and there's nice stuff in there, but again, it doesn't feel quite like a gift that you're getting from another quilter. So let me know your comments below. What do you think of this? What do you think of the boxes I've reviewed? Uh, make sure you check out all our unboxing videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. P.S. I got it back in the roll. Yay. It's not quite as pretty as it was, but it is rolled and banded and ready to go on my shelf. See you next time.